Okay, you guys, so I wanted to just start this video off doing a few more earrings. We're still finishing up components that we had previously made and I didn't want the last video to be so long. So look, our butterflies have dried. And so now we're getting ready to make them into a pair of earrings. I'm gonna have to repaint the back, I think, just cause some of the gloss got on the back, but that's a simple fix. So I'm just poking the hole back through where some of the clear gloss got in there. And I didn't introduce myself on the last two videos, I don't think, but I'm Garlinda Price. For those of you that are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. I own Fusion Properties, real estate and construction company here in North Carolina. I also own a wholesale cosmetics company called Glamit Cosmetics. Um, you can look us up, check us out on Facebook as well. We have tons of videos um, and I just did a skincare tutorial not too long ago. I think it was on Wednesday using our cosmetics products. And so today, anyway, jewelry is a form of art therapy for me. It was my very first business I started when I was 19 years old. And I actually sold my jewelry to Nordstrom's department store and a couple of other boutiques in the DC area. I always thought I'd be a jewelry designer until the Lord told me through my husband, no, this is a hobby, right? <laughs> so of course the Lord knows best. And so I have always been able to make a business out of jewelry. And so I had so much made and so many earrings made that I said, let me open up an Etsy store. So that led me to doing the tutorials because by nature, I'm a teacher, not physically a teacher, but just my ministry gift is teaching. So hence, here we are talking all things jewelry. So we're just gonna finish up this cute butterfly pair that we were working on earlier this morning in the first video. And what I'm doing is these are some stickers that I had gotten from Michael's. We've talked about that before. I get all of my little jewelry components. I had, was actually going to Michael's tonight or this evening when we ran, we rode out of town for a little while, just about an hour down the road. And Michael's closed at seven o'clock. I'm like, really Michael's? Cause our Michael's here, I thought stayed open until eight or nine, but I know now during the COVID-19, every area is different. So we're gonna let those dry, but look how cute these are gonna be. So that's gonna be the hanging piece. And this is gonna be the little accoutrement that goes with it. So I may go ahead and attach it because then all we'll have left to do is attach the earring finding on the back. And this is gonna be a post pair of earrings, which I do clip-ons and I do post earrings and I do the fish hook or um, jewelry wire earrings. I'll put that on backwards. Oh Lordy. Oh yeah, I had a burger. It was not good. On a scale of one to five, it was about a two. So it's literally sitting on my stomach like a lead weight, but I'm not gonna complain because some people in the world are hungry. So, but anyway, I don't even know why I need to tell you that. Just random thought, but look how pretty. These are really feminine. I totally love them. And so we're gonna put this one on here and then I'm gonna sit these off to the side to dry and we'll work on the next pair. What are y'all up to today? Thank you for y'all. I love y'all's replies and comments. And I know it seems like, why do I always say, oh my gosh, praise God, God is so great whenever you give me a compliment on the jewelry because God is the giver of all gifts. So I don't want you to think I'm being overly religious or anything like that, but I just don't take for granted that designing and creating is a gift of all my own. It's a gift from God. And so I just thank you that you all hang out with me and that you take time to watch the videos. And if you have a channel that you want me to follow, um, let me know, put it in the comment section so I can follow you over there as well, whether it's on Instagram or whether it's on Facebook or here on YouTube so that I can return the favor and we can follow one another and support one another. I would like that. So this is the pair that we're gonna do next. And so remember I had gloss these earlier. So that's what they look like when they got their little glossy coat. And so I had not initially thought about putting these two together. Um, I was just gonna let these be a pair of hanging earrings by themselves, which they are gonna be kind of long. Um, they're gonna be like shoulder dusters, but fall, I looked up fall um, and winter jewelry ideas and what, the, not jewelry ideas, jewelry trends. I looked it up about a week ago and shoulder duster earrings are in for the fall. Shoulder duster earrings, chain and metal, heavy chunky jewelry, um, everything going back to um, Metallica and punk metals and punk jewelry, that type um, theme is out for the fall and the winter. So these are gonna be perfect in terms of the length that they're gonna be. Now I have to decide if I'm going to put any of these little stones on them, I might because I think they'll be cute. I just don't feel like gluing all of this with the E6000 glue. So I may go see if I can hunt down. I ran out of super glue. So if I am gonna do it, I have to stop talking and just get to gluing. So I'm just gonna stop talking and get to gluing. Well, I'm still debating about this particular pair actually being kind of lazy about gluing stuff down. Let's be honest, right? I'm gonna go ahead and gloss the stars so that we can glue the silver stars in place that we have for these. And I'm just gonna use the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic because I noticed that when I used that Dura Clear earlier, which I'm just gonna have to throw it away, it did cause some splitting on the designs, but it's uh, it's not noticeable to someone that's not a designer, that's not you know like a jewelry designer. So you would probably notice it if you design jewelry. If you don't design jewelry, you probably wouldn't even 
pick it out. So because I know that it creates design flaws, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to have to throw it in the trash. I'm not sure if maybe it was just it's too old or if I've had it too long, although I've never used it. But rather than it mess up my artwork, we're just going to leave it alone. Just throw it away. That's, ooh, $7.99. Mm, that's, that's hurtful, right? To throw away $8. But nevertheless, I never used it. So obviously it wasn't that important until I just located it this year. So I'm just glossing the stars, making sure to pop the air bubbles so they're not in there. And I'm just using my um, dotting tool, which I really shouldn't be using to pop out air bubbles, but I can always wash it off and clean it off with some, um, I probably could just use nail polish remover to get it off because it's just a clear gloss or just wash it right quick after I finish putting these on here. I'm just using it to stabilize the star in place. And these are going to be so cute. I um, was in the stage of doing stars because <clears throat> look, we're all stars. I'm a legend in my own mind, right? That's what somebody told me at church one time. We used to go to church in Virginia. They say, you are a legend in your own mind. I'm like, well, the Lord made us all rock stars, honey. <laughs> so anyway, pop out the air bubbles, and then we're going to sit these beauties to the side. <clears throat> and let's see. You just want to make sure you go to the edge really well when you're using a dimensional magic. So you don't have any, like, so it doesn't recede. You know what I mean? Like you'll have a little section that doesn't have gloss <clears throat> or it's just semi-gloss. So that's We're going to sit those over there. Going to get that off. And y'all, I'm really oh, having a hard time because these are so pretty already the way they are. I think they already make a beautiful pair of earrings. So I'm just not sure I want to cover them up with a whole bunch of studs. So we'll figure that out. But on to the next design. So we have these, which I like a lot. And so I also was messing around with the designs that I was going to put on here. But since we already used these same studs on another pair of earrings, which is why I wanted to go to Michael's tonight so I could get a different pair. <clears throat> I just don't know if it's too much since I've already used this on another pair, but I do like that. Like I like that being in like a little, as a little center bead for those, but then it needs something like up in there. So let's see. Cause the color of these is really pretty and I almost don't want to, I'm gonna put that back on the right click. I love how, matte colored they are so in other words these don't have um a gloss finish and i'm tempted not to give them a gloss finish because i, I really like how matte they are so i probably could go over them with a mod podge just to protect the paint so i'll probably do that so what i'm going to do right quick is i'm going to paint the edges because we didn't finish the edges out initially so i'm going to finish out the edges on the design and then we're going to gloss it over with some mod podge so we can at least give it a finish and we don't have to worry about the paint chipping when someone purchases those. So stay. Hey you guys, so good morning. So let's finish up the earrings we were talking about yesterday. These are the stars that we're gonna add more stars to. We gotta put our backs on these earrings. You all, I got sleepy. I was gonna finish up last night because remember I was mulling over what to do with these. So I ended up gluing the little pieces to them this morning because I just didn't feel like it last night. I think they came out really pretty. So we're going to finish those up and I added some studs to these. I didn't put as many as I thought about doing because I just didn't want to overkill the earring. And then these came out really cute. I just glued the backs on them this morning. So let's get started with all of our little projects. And let's start with the stars because the rest of the stuff is more like just gluing backs on. How was y'all's night? So we ended up going, where did we go? We went to get burgers and fries. On a scale of five, my burger was a one and a half, two. Ugh. But the fries were good. And normally probably because I don't eat bread, that's probably why I didn't like it. Um, but it didn't have any flavor to it. I don't know, but I love burgers. Like, so I'll do normally a bunless burger if we're doing it at home. But anyway, never met a French fry I didn't love, except for I don't like shoestring fries. <laughs> so we're gonna put these on here. And I think we're gonna do multiple stars. So again, you're gonna need your wire cutters mine seriously need to be sharpened 
I'm using stars that I got from the sticker aisle. I've had these forever, so I honestly think I got them from Michaels, maybe AC more, but they're really old. You should still be able to find something similar at the craft store. And sorry, y'all can hear my son in the back, but they're watching videos and talking and stuff, my son and my husband. So I'm just gonna cut the back off the brads like we did in the last video. Now you can cut them all the way off because you'll notice there's a piece still back here in the back. But if you have something that's gonna give you a fit, I say go on and cut it off. Cause I don't want anything that could probably, you know, come up later on and come off the earring when you're selling it to someone. So let's cut a couple off and then that way we don't have to stop to keep cutting them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a few now. And I have not yet uploaded the bathroom photos from the remodel we were doing, but I am gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do it as a separate video because you've got to see it, it's incredible. Um, I'll share it on my Pastor Garlanda Price playlist, but I also have a real estate playlist. I don't always share a lot of stuff there, but I might put it there so you can see it, but it's, it just came out so gorgeous. I figured I could just pop them in here right quick. Here's a picture of the shower we did. We pulled out a fiberglass shower and did a floor to ceiling tile shower and we added these countertops and incredible glass Monday, bowls. All we have left to do is, I think clean up the grout on the tile behind the sink area, um, but we put in these what color are they? Like copper color glass raised sinks. They kind of sit up this high off the countertop above the counter and they are gorgeous. It looks like a spa bathroom. So for those of you like, what are you talking about? I own a real estate and construction company with my husband, Fusion Properties, LLC Real Estate. I do residential, commercial, and land development here in North Carolina. And then my husband, and when we um, need a team, he'll hire people to help with remodels that we do in renovations. So that's what I do full time. That's my real job, right? <laughs> in addition to being a mom, a wife, an ordained pastor, licensed and ordained for about the last, going on five years. So, let's, I think that should be enough stars for now just to see where we're going to be. And then I have my little thing of toothpicks right here off to the side so I can use those to put on the glue. Before I was using the end of my brush, but I think these are just too small to do that. I use E6000 glue. I do see where Joyce McTeer, I think I mentioned this the last time, she uses Gorilla Glue. So I may try that just to see how it is, only because I don't like the smell of this E6000 glue sometimes, but I would assume with it all being a chemical that it all has a smell. So just gonna grab one of those out and then I'm gonna do, let me see. I want the earrings to be, what's the word I'm looking for? As they are crossing each other on the ear. I might not be able to, so the way I painted it, I'm gonna have to do them this way. So I'm gonna do the star in the middle. So I have the glue off to the side and I'm just gonna take a good helping of it and put it in the middle. <laughs> and then we're just gonna press it down. And the other reason I decided I wanted to use the E6000 glue also is because when you use the super glue, there is no movement. Like there's no messing around. You got you got to know what you want to do. So that's better for when you're just putting something down where placement doesn't matter. But in this instance, placement matters and I need to be able to move it around or adjust it if necessary. So this glue gives me the opportunity to do that. 
So you wanna put them side by side, make sure that they are symmetrical and that they're centered. And these are gonna be a post pair of earrings. They're not gonna be hanging earrings. And so the little stars, look how cute the little baby stars are. They're so cute. So I'm gonna put them at the top and I think at the bottom. I did cut off two stars, two of the larger ones. I mean, four, I think I did of those, but I don't think I'm gonna try to add another. These things are little and my hands are pretty little, but ooh, these stars are like holding a little newborn. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get some more glue too. So let's put a nice chunky heap in there. And we're gonna put that at the top. And just remember any glue that kind of comes out or seeps out, you can always adjust that. Look how cute they're gonna be. So I just need to put a little bit more glue on the table. It's not on the table, it's on a piece of paper off to the right that you just can't see. And I'm just scooping it out onto a piece of paper so that way I can just use the toothpick to pick it up. I don't have to keep fighting with it. Okay, so putting that on there and I'm gonna put it at the bottom. I think I'm just gonna do them straight in a row. That one kind of slipped out my hand a little bit. So like I was mentioning, so I had to move that star up a little bit. So thank God this is E6000 glue. So in needing to move that, I could move that up. So I'm gonna use the clean end of the toothpick to clean up just some of the glue that came out when it slipped out of my hand and I'm gonna lift this up so you can see it. They look really pretty. I'm almost thinking about putting some on the side. Let me see. I think I want to put some off to the side just to continue zhuzhing it up. So I'm going to go cut a few more of these off and I'll be right back. Okay, so look how cute they turned out. Oh my gosh, these are superstars. No pun intended. I think they are adorable. So I'm trying to decide if I want to add one more star down to the bottom like there's some baby stars. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna add the little baby stars in the corners and then we'll be star studded. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just getting carried away. But I think the little baby stars down there will be cute. So I'm gonna go glue those on and then they're gonna hang that way. So let me glue those on and come back and show. Okay, so we have all the little stars glued on. They are gonna be super cute. So I'm gonna put the post backs on those. I'm gonna go put the backs on these. So these are the ones we finished last night. I'm gonna make this a pair of clip-ons because again, I wanna have clip-ons and pierce in the um, in my Etsy store. So don't forget, you gotta shop over there before my coupon ends. It's $5 off and then you get another $5 off coupon after you make your first purchase. So you're gonna need some clip-on backs. Of course, you can get these from Michaels, but I got these on from Rings and Things, I told you that. I think they came in a pack of 100, so I'm just gonna put the glue on. I'm probably gonna put the glue on the earring itself. I need a little bit more than that. So the thing when you go to put down your clip-on back is because these particular clip-on backs have holes in them and they stick really well. When I, what I mean by stick, they um, attach to the ears really tightly so they can be a little uncomfortable in my opinion if you're not used to wearing clip-on earrings. So when you push it down, what I normally do is I'll take a brush, like the end of my brush, and I'll press it down on there. You could even do this with a, um, a toothpick. You wanna make sure that it's straight across the top of your earring. And then I smooth that glue off because if you leave those little glue bubbles sitting up there, look how much glue would've been sitting up there. It's gonna be uncomfortable in the ear because it'll be like nodules sticking up. So make sure when you glue the back on that you use something to smooth across there to get that glue off. So then we're gonna do this one as well. I'm so excited about all the projects we have coming up. I have some other things I wanna be making. I still wanna do 
I'm gonna do some more necklaces too. Um, I haven't worn the other necklaces again that we made out of the glass beads from the Dollar Tree stones, but I wanna make several of those. So we push the glue down, smoothed it out, made sure it's straight. I wanna push it down one more time, smooth it out one more time. And then we're gonna make sure that's lined up and then set it off to the side to dry. Okay, and now these are the ones last night that we made. And so all I did was I decided that I'm gonna leave these matte finished. But what I am gonna do is put a matte finish on them with the Mod Podge. I didn't do that last night. So let's do that right quickly. So you're just gonna grab any brush that you wanna use. I'm gonna use a relatively flat brush. These are my favorites. This is a, um, a plaid brush, number 5058. I just like how straight edge it is. Sometimes I do this to get straight lines. But the only reason I'm doing this is to not get any type of finish per se, but like I said last night, just to um, protect it. So it's gonna dry matte anyway, but I like how it looks. I don't wanna add gloss to this. I feel like I'm glossing too much stuff. So let me grab the Mod Podge matte and I get mine from the Dollar Tree. So one of you was sharing that your store was out of Mod Podge and you were gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby. I know it seems like craft supplies, um, like everybody's crafting, but probably because everybody's at home. So there's nothing wrong with that. So I encourage you, if you've been putting off designing, get back started. One way to get out of a rut of what to make and what to design is just to start. So paint you some bases, sit them to the side, think about what you already have on hand, get inspiration from Instagram and other sites. There's a place on Instagram called Earring Directory. And I follow that page just to get inspired by colors and things like that. Not other people's designs, just their colors. So that's something that you can always do, right? And then just start painting, something great. So I love that they have these little mini bottles. Now what you could do is don't throw this away once it gets empty. Buy the larger bottle of Mod, Pod, Mod Podge. That's what KUnity77 Khadijah does. She fills up her bottles. And y'all, again, don't buy this if you see it at the store. Now I don't know if it's just that mine is a bad bottle. I'm gonna have to throw away, but it will damage your finished product. So the Dura Clear Gloss, I'm not sure if mine is just old, but just don't use that. Cause I wanna say that, I know you saw me using it in other videos, but it will damage your um your designs. So we're just gonna put a clear gloss layer of Mod Podge across here and just make sure that the layer is really thin and it will dry clear, which is great. But just wanna make sure that you smooth it out really well. And you don't need a lot of it. I'm just going underneath that stone. I've already glued that down, so. Y'all hear the bird outside? I had the window open next to me just to get ventilation from the glue. I'm sure I should be going in the same direction and not different directions with this. I think it's because I'm talking, so let me go pay attention. So it's already starting to dry, so we're gonna sit that one off to the side. We're gonna do this one. Make sure your piece is cleaned off. And so all that's gonna do is give your pieces a nice coat and you may wanna put like a plastic um, container over your designs while they're drying because there's dust particles in the air. Just notice there was a piece of dust that got on here. And you may not see them, right? But especially if you have pets or animals, fur could be flying around, you just don't see it and you just don't want things getting stuck in your jewelry while they're drying. That's why a lot of people that do resin jewelry, they cover the resin up with um, like a plastic top or a plastic container. And then of course you can clean your brush in between doing this. So it's already starting to dry. So I'm just going to smooth out any edges. We're going to sit it over there for it to dry. We'll see what that looks like. I don't usually do that. So I'm not sure what it's going to come out looking like, but nevertheless, let's see what it looks like. And then if I like it, then we'll do that on these as well, because I really love how matte these are. Look how cute these are. I love how matte those are. And I want to keep them that way. I don't necessarily want to have a gloss because I'm, I'm over gloss. I want something matte and cute. So let's let those dry. And then what we're gonna do is glue the backs on a few other things right quick, so stay. Okay, you guys, so look at the really nice, um, like just a matte finish that the Mod Podge, just the Mod Podge matte from the Dollar Tree. And it gave like a really nice matte sheen <laughs> on these bases. I like how they turned out. So now I like them even better because that means I don't have to put gloss on them and I also don't have to worry about the coat being protected of the paint that's on there. So. We can go ahead and finish those up, but let me show you how these turned out and they're all gonna be going on the website tonight. I know I said that last night. It'll probably be late tonight, tomorrow morning, um, only because we may go somewhere and so I don't wanna, I can do it from the car, but I don't wanna commit and then they're not on there, but they will be on there no later than tomorrow evening. So this is a clip-on pair, really cute. My nails are a little wet, so that's, what, oh, that's why I'm holding them in a funny way. So those are really pretty clip-on backs. The backs are just as pretty as the front. 
This is the other pair we got finished. I love how they turned out as well. I also made them clip on. So I decided to just do multiple different types of beads. I was gonna do it on camera, but I was being kind of lazy about it, to be honest. I didn't feel like gluing all those down individually, but I just, I went on and did it. So there's a clip on on the back. So I love that people have options and they have choices for clip on and pierce. These are super cute. These are really pretty. Now I had previously glossed these a while back with um, the triple thick. I think they came out really pretty. And then here are the stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little stawa. Right, <laughs> that's what we used to sing to my son and daughter when they were little. So anyway, we had a jazzed up version of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So that's how they look on the back. Really pretty. I love how those turned out. I might make a pair for myself. I had tons of stars already completed um, that are painted. They just don't have designs on them yet. And then of course, I already showed you the butterflies. I haven't painted the backs yet, but this is what they're looking like. So let me put them in my hand. I like how pretty they turned out too. So I just have to go and get the ones I showed you that have the matte backs on them. I just have to figure out what we're gonna do with these, get them finished up. I like them how they are, but I feel like they need something like up in there. I really like how these are. And so I may just leave them plain. These are just gonna get some clip-ons on the back because I feel like I already have so many hanging pair of earrings. So let's go figure out what we're gonna do with these and if we're gonna keep them like they are. And if so, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the backs on. I'll come back and show you everything in its completed state. So I wanted to hurry up and show you these before we head out for the day. I think we're gonna ride to Wilmington, North Carolina. It's about two hours away. Maybe, I don't know, but I know we're gonna leave the house, right? So here's what they came out looking like. I just did plain post backs on them. They're still drying. I like this, I love actually the simplicity of these. So we're gonna leave them that way. I also decided to keep these simple because I just like the, um, the straight lines, I think that's what's appealing to me. I think they're just really cool. Just some straight line designs that are simple yet powerful in terms of their design appeal. I love them. And I really love how the hearts turned out. I love the lines in these as well because initially when I did this type of design, I had a bunch of lines and things that I was working on. There's one more pair over here. I haven't put the backs on yet because I need to um, to touch them up, but I was in this whole line design series. So I just need to get those zhuzhed up and I'm gonna do that. And then again, all of these will be heading to the website no later than tomorrow. I showed you all of the ones from earlier and now I'm showing you these that are actually in the process of drying. I think they're really pretty. I decided to do clip on backs on those. They wanna keep teeter tottering. And I ha I'm excited that I had the chance to insert our tile work just so you could see the shower. We actually pulled out a fiberglass insert to put that tile shower in. All that's left now is a seat that's going in there tomorrow for our client. And I have to decorate, throw in some towels, some greenery, some pictures and all that jazz. And we'll be finished with that. So excited. It was such a blessing to work on. My husband did all of the work himself and um, just really proud of him and the client loved it. So anyway, that's a little bit of my real estate life. I love it, I love what I do. There's been times when I got burned out and was like, Lord, I don't wanna do real estate anymore. And the Lord was like, good luck with that. So he did give me a break or a reprieve for a little while, but now it's full blast, full blown real estate. So again, this is my therapy that I get to do that thing I get to do for myself. So you know how people talk about self-care where my self-care is creating and hanging out with you guys here on YouTube. And again, um, you already know that we have the Glamour Cosmetics website. I'm also big into weight loss and weight loss products. Um, I used to be a distributor with another company. So I'm working on my weight loss. I just did a full 30 days of exercising every day for 30 days and drinking a gallon of water every day. I thought that was so awesome. I felt so much better. I just did a detox um, this past week. So I may start sharing a little bit more of that on one of my other playlists. So stay tuned for that. So be sure to like this channel, subscribe. My channel is more of a holistic lifestyle approach to everything that, that I do, right? Because as women, we're so multifaceted. We do so many things. And so that's what I really love about YouTube is that you can share different aspects of your life as it appeals to certain people. You might not like everything, right? So I hope you love these and I hope you'll try and you'll make some on your own. And remember we did these using the tape. Remember I outlined these with tape. So anyway, I'm rambling. I think they came out super gorgeous. 
Don't forget, I'm gonna put a um, coupon code in the description box below. If you're interested in any of these, they will be on the site tomorrow. And I'm gonna be uploading the ones from yesterday tomorrow as well. That way it'll give me time to get them all on there and I apologize for the delay. So God bless you all. I'm Garlinda Price and I'll talk to you soon.